Yo, what's up guys, Dr. Heels here. If you caught my last video, I showed you how to get some free emotes on a website called Flat Icon. Um, now, if you didn't like that and you wanted to do some completely custom emotes, again, for free, then I'm gonna show you how to do that using a program called Pixlr, and it is a browser-based Photoshop alternative um, and it is really awesome. Now with that said, if you wanna see how to make these emotes very similarly using Photoshop and using the Adobe products, uh, go check out my boy Sesso. He did a video uh, just like this using Photoshop and that's kinda of where the inspiration for this video came from. So huge shout out to him, thanks for everything he's doing and go check him out if you wanna learn that stuff. Now if you wanna do it um, for free using Pixlr, maybe you don't have access to Adobe, then stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make three different kinds of emotes um, right here in this video. So let's get going. Yo, what's up guys, Dr. Hills here. My last video I did, I showed how to go and get free emotes um, from a, a website. But what if you just hit affiliate and you want completely custom emotes that you can make yourself without any fancy software absolutely for free? All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. But if you wanna come hang out with me, if you have any questions about this, I do stream on Twitch four days a week. I stream on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, real late at night. Just go follow me, twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. And let's jump into this video. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is determine what kind of emotes we wanna make. And, and one thing I've seen that's been kind of popular here lately is emotes of just your actual face. Um, and so what you're gonna do if you want to make this just absolutely free, make this simple, get your camera, whatever camera you have, go to a scene where there's nothing on it, um, just like this one, and record yourself uh, making all kinds of funny faces like this. And then you're gonna take that, whatever you end up with. I already grabbed some screenshots here. Uh, these are the ones that I ended up with. Um, I have some Amans, I got some Omis, oh and I got some hmm? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this image right here. I mean, I'm gonna go to a website called remove.bg, and I apologize, I see it is blocked right now. Um, it is remove.bg. Um, I will have it linked down in the description if you just wanna find it there. Anyway, grab the image you want, um, do your recording, grab a screenshot of the image you want, and then all you have to do is drag it in on the website, just like that. Um, and it's actually gonna go ahead and grab the image, it's gonna blow it up, it's gonna automatically remove the background just like that. Then you're just gonna slap download. Download this video, or download this image rather. You see it's down here, it is right beneath my cat, that is Dr. Chills down there. We're gonna jump over to another website called pixlr.com. Again, I apologize, I know you can't see it, but I will have it linked down below. P-I-X-L-R.com. Um, and then we are gonna go, as soon as you log in, it's gonna give you this option. I'm gonna go with Pixlr X. Um, you can see I've already made these, um, so we're gonna show you how to make these exactly. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna click Create New. Um, go with the size, I just do with emotes, they're gonna be small in way, I go about 600 by 600. Um, click Create. Now you're just gonna drag in that image, and drag it in here, Create New, and there is our image, okay? Um, so I'm gonna start by uh, upsizing this just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think X is the right. I might have told you guys wrong. One second, let me jump back. We may need Pixlr E. We want whatever the advanced one is. There we go, I apologize. We want Pixlr E, that gives us the settings we want, not X. So guys, what you're just gonna do is you're gonna drag the image in there and click Create New, and now we have some control over this, okay? Um, so we can choose it, the image. It is locked right now, let's make sure we unlock that. And now we can actually scale it up. Um, make sure when you scale, you hold down Shift, right? Uh, apologize, make sure you hold down nothing. I'm trying to uh, adjust everything over to Pixlr, but I'm, I am used to Adobe products. So, okay, now that we have that, now the first thing I wanna do is I don't really want my shoulders and neck in there, so I'm gonna pull up my erase tool right here. Um, just like this, I'm gonna bring it over, I'm gonna select the layer I'm working on, and then I'm gonna start to erase um, what I don't want here, okay? And now what I may end up doing here in just a moment is actually clicking up here and bringing my softness up 
just a little bit so that it's just hitting a little bit softer. And I'm just going to, I'm going to cut for me, I'm going to cut all the way into the beard and I'm actually going to try to round the beard off just a little bit, but I want it just to be my head. And so yeah, just something like this, you know, and you can finagle, you can spend all the time. If you mess up, hit control Z or command Z um, and you can always take it off. Um, and right here, I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, the beard is pretty rounded off, uh, you know, and, and then from here we can go ahead and scale it up again. If you hold down alt, it'll evenly uh, scale it. And there we go. So right now we have a pretty decent emote. We can run it just like this. But if we want to take it up a step further, bring out our brand colors. If you look around, I got my blues and purple. So if I want to bring in my brand colors, I could actually go to edit and go to stroke. And just like that, I can throw in a stroke and change it to, uh, you know, something pretty close to my, my purple. Uh, something probably like that. You can see it's kind of getting over here into this. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to erase that in just a moment. I'm going to bring that up. Get a pretty good stroke going on again. This is going to be super tiny. Uh, so I'm going to grab my eraser tool again, which is E. Um, this time around, I'm going to actually drop my softness because I just want it to be uh, do some work for me. And, and I'm going to try not to get into the stroke that I want to keep. And I'm just going to delete all this that I don't actually want, right? And we may have to get creative. Now, these don't have to be perfect. You got to remember, an emote is going to be seen very, very small. And I'm going to have to size it down just a little bit just because the stroke went outside of the frame. And right there, we're getting pretty close. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. If I hit, you hit Z on your keyboard, you're going to zoom in. Um, and then I'm going to hit V also brings me back to my move tool. I apologize. I'm, I'm hitting that without saying it. E is going to bring me to my eraser tool. Uh, again, if it's not giving you the, the mark, make sure you click the background that you want to work on. Um, and I'm going to drop my size down just a little bit more but so that I can... There we go. Drop it down just a little bit like that. And I just want to take that part out. There we go. And I think we're, do we're doing pretty good right there. So I'm going to press Z again. Um, and... Was it control minus? Yeah, control minus will also zoom you out. There we go. So say this is, we're good. This is what we want. Um, great. Then all you have to do at this point is hit file, save, and export it to the size that you need, right? Um, but let's say we want to go just a little bit further. We want to add a word. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more so I have a little more space to work with. I'm going to make my head just a little bit smaller. And I'm going to hit T uh, on my keyboard or I can just click over here, the type tool. And I'm going to type. I'm going to add a text layer, yes, and I'm just going to put in the word what, what, right? Just the word what. And then I'm going to choose a font up here. Um, now, the font I do like is, is I think, was it like Big Dad or something like that? Something Dad. Let me, let me scroll through and find it real fast. Uh, you see there's a ton of fonts you can choose from. You can even upload your own. So if you have a particular brand font, um, go for it. But just for the scope of this video, I'm going to use this, uh, where is it? Dad, Dad. Daddy, there, Daddy Day, this this font right here. I'm gonna grab this and I can up the size however I want it. Um, I'm also going to turn it just a little bit to kind of go along with my face. And now, just like I did before, I'm gonna go to edit. I wanna add another stroke, uh, which I apologize, I can't until I rasterize the text. Um, and then once I've rasterized now, I can go to edit, I can go to stroke. Um, I can pretty much max the si match the size. I want to get this exact purple that I'd use. So once you go to your color picker, you can go right here to purple. Set that color in. Um, and there we go. We kind of got it right there. Uh, oh, cancel. Make sure if you have that selected, you press V to go back to your move tool. And then from here, you can kind of move that around however you want it. Maybe I size my head up just a little bit more again. Um, yeah, just something like that. Bring this over here. We're filling this block about the best we can. You know, figure out how you want it. You can always... Uh, add a little more of a, a twist on it, something like that. I don't want it cut off. I want it all to fit in here. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, save, and it's going to give me the options here of the exact size I want it. Um, and I actually know that I want it uh, 128 by 128. And that's going to be the exact size. And oh man, I said I, I didn't even set it up as a perfect square, but that's okay. 128 uh, is what we'll go with here. And I can download this. And, and just like this, I have it here. Now, if you want to see what your emotes look like, I always recommend you do this. Um, go to an emote tester. I'll have this link down there as well. Uh, the one I actually use is this one, and it's going to reroute me. There we go. And so all you got to do at this point is upload your emote, and there you go. You can see exactly what it's going to look like. So, guys, that is emote number one. Now, what if we want a text-based emote, uh, a text-based? So we're going to create a new image here. 
and I'm going to go 600 by 600 or 512 by 512. That's fine. That's fine. So now if we want to create a, a text based one, something that I don't know what it says for you, uh, you make that your decision on what you want to say, but hit, hit your T tool, click anywhere. It's going to say, do you want to add a text layer? We absolutely do. Uh, I'm just going to say something generic like get good. Okay, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, this on two different lines and I'll show you why in just a moment. So get and I'm going to hit T, add another layer, uh, good, right? And there we go. And if it's cutting it off, just drag these out. Make sure you can fit it all on there. You may have to go over here and lower the size just a little bit to make it fit well. Uh, I'm going to have to do this on both of them. So this one's at 149. We'll go and drag this one down to 149 as well. Um, and we're going to change our font. Again, I'm going to go with that same font I had. I'm going to go with Daddy Day. Because uh, I think that's a nice font. I think it's nice and bold and it, and it fits what we're going for here. So I'm actually going to bring my size back up now that I've got the new font. About 240. That looks good. And of course, you can play around this however you want. I'm going to bring these fonts to be about the same size. Um, and I'm doing that because uh, I'm going to actually make a big stroke around both of these but first I want this font to be a different color so I'm going to click on the font um, and I'm going to click here and I think I'm going to make this sort of a a blue color to match uh, my my brand colors just a little bit more something like that that looks pretty good and then I can I can select this and and a really cool thing you can do here is if you right click you can go merge down and what that's going to do is that's going to bring these two layers down into one layer so just like that, now they are one. You see if I select them, um, they they move together as one. And that's cool because I actually want to put a stroke around both of them. So again, I'm going to go edit. I'm going to go stroke. Um, and you see it's kind of come together. I want to make sure I choose my purple or whatever your brand colors are. It could be red, blue, purple, whatever color you need. And, and then I'm going to up that size until it kind of joins together. Something like that. Something like that. We're getting there. Um, looking at it, I kind of wish this blue was maybe a little bit lighter. Um, but I think this is fine and I can add just a little bit of twist on it something like that I think looks really good um, and, and actually what we may do is before I do that I'm gonna control Z and undo that I'm gonna add another text layer so I'm just gonna type yes add text I want to redo the word good I know obviously the font I want I want it to, it's gonna be daddy day I know it's gonna be 240 and then I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit um, and I want to change that color. I want to, I'm going to grab this color right here. I um, mean, then I'm just going to bring it this way to make it a little darker, right? And then from here, I'm going to play around with what's known as blending modes. Now, I don't know which one I'm going to use just yet, but I just want to play around and see if I can get a cool effect here. Uh, that overlay actually looks kind of cool. I think that's adding a nice effect, but let's click through just for a second, dark and lighten. Uh, so, so lighten actually looks really good. You see how it's kind of added that like little drop shadow under? That may be the one we go with, but let's just try color dodge, uh, color burn. All right, so we were looking. What were we looking at? Overlay, overlay looked pretty good, and I think lighten. Lighten's probably the one we'll go with. We'll go with lighten. I think that looks nice. Um, so there we go. We have a, a nice little effect kind of added to it. Uh, we don't want to add a text layer. Um, something we can do now is go to our brush tool, which is just B, um, and choose somewhere on here to start um, adding a brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my softness up quite a bit more. Bring size up just a little bit more as well. Um, and what I can do is kind of add kind of a couple white effects. Uh, actually, those aren't quite big enough. Let me control Z, control Z, um, and make the size, you know, significantly bigger. And this is just gonna give a little bit of like a blur effect going on. And from here, I'm sorry, create a new layer, um, an empty layer, and now do that, that effect that we just did with our brush tool. We're gonna do that on here. Just so now with this, we can take that and we can drop that transparency down a little bit we can set that to like a, a lighten or a, a color dodge Ooh, that's kind of a neat effect actually but that's not what we're going for here but uh, remember it does that let's go for a soft light bring our transparency back up and there we go it just gives you a little bit of something extra you see if we turn it off turn it on it kind of adds to it uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna create one more layer uh, empty layer I want my color to be this blue color just like that and then I'm going to grab my brush tool again, and I'm going to kind of do the same thing here. And maybe one just right here in the middle. And again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to right click. We're going to take it down and turn it on soft light. Um, and we can adjust our transparency as needed, but you kind of get what we're going for here. Um, you can turn it off, turn it on to see what kind of difference it's making. It's adding a little bit to it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to merge all of these now. I just flattened the whole image. And so now I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put it on just a little bit of an angle, something like that. There's my get good, right? And then I'm going to save it as 128, 128 and see this is both of them are 128. It's what I wanted it to be. Title it, whatever you'd want it to be. And we're going to smack download. Now again, we're going to keep this up because now we can drag this emote in over here. And there we go. We see our get good emote. Now I can tell you right now, I would probably lighten that blue or darken the purple. Maybe darken the purple is the right move here. Um, you want a little more contrast, but you can play around with it all you want. Now I have one more emote I wanted to show you guys how to do. Um, and this one is going to be game specific. So uh, I'll sh show you a little uh, tips and tricks here real quick. Let's go and grab our size again, 512 by 512. That works. Um, and we're gonna go game specific. Um, and for me, I'm gonna go Valorant because I've been playing a lot of Valorant. So search Valorant character or Halo character or Fortnite character, um, whatever game you play. And you're gonna come here and here's a little trick for you. Click tools, go to color and click transparent. Now it's only gonna show you transparent images, okay? So I'm gonna grab Sage here because I think Sage, I, I'm Dr. Heels, I play a lot of Sage. Um, and so I'm gonna save this image right here. This image is Sage, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Uh, there we go. And it's going to save it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to Pixlr. I'm just going to drag in this picture, this image of Sage. I'm going to make it... Oh, I created new. I didn't mean to do that. I apologize. Drag it in and click Add to Current. Um, and now, actually, the size on Sage is pretty good here. Uh, this is roughly what I'm wanting. Now, depending on the image, you may need to uh, enlarge it. So some images, when you import them, they may be relatively small. And as you can imagine, zoom out at a emote level, this is nearly impossible to see. So make it large, make it where just her face is in it. I want a little more of her, of her actually in it. And with this style, it does not matter if she's cut off, but we can see this about emote level, that looks pretty good. Um, and what I wanna do is I want to add in a text effect and it's gonna say, now it is Sage. So what am I, what am I gonna do with her here? Um, I did a raise one where I said wrecked. Let's uh, let's just go with wrecked again, guys. I don't know. There we go. Wrecked. I'm going to go with my same font. Daddy Day, I think, is just a great font. Uh, I'm going to actually bring Sage up a little bit higher. You can cut her, cut her off just a little bit. And, and one thing I like to do here is I like to play around with some of these filters. So first thing we have to do is we have to take this, this word wrecked, and I'm going to go ahead and make it white. Oh, maybe I'm gonna make it white. There we go. Hit T, bring up your text tool, then you get your color option again. There we go. Um, and, and I'm doing that because I am gonna put a border on it. Um, we will, and what, right here we have it white, so we could just go ahead and go edit. I'm sorry, we have to rasterize our text first. Rasterize our text. Then we can go edit, um, stroke, and, and from there, you know, make it however we want. We can grab the color right here off Sage if we want to do it that way. Um, and, and there we we have it like that. That's not what I want to do though. I want to play around with these effects under filter. So we go filter, uh, effects library. You see, you get a lot of choices here. Um, and I had actually found one where it was I think it was under artsy. Um, and you see, we kind of get these kind of cool effects here. And this is the one that I ended up going with. Um, but you see, we have all kinds of different effects we can choose, we can play around with. Um, and, and I do want to go with this one again and lower it just a little bit. Um, and I think that actually adds a really kind of cool effect here. Uh, twist it just a little bit, maybe enlarge it so that we get the full rect. And, and let's see, let's try to actually just duplicate this layer real quick. Um, so if you hit this one, you can duplicate the layer. And if we bring one down just like that, let's go and see if we can edit. And I, right now, guys, I'm actually just playing around with this, see what we can get going on. Um, All right, because it's an effect, we cannot do that. Let's see if we rasterize it if we can. No, I actually don't think we can. So, okay, anyway, this is kind of the effect I would go with. Something like this, you can change it to fit your context. Um, I actually just thought this, this effect was really cool. And we can kind of see what it would look like. Let's go and save this one just like we did all the others. Um, you can title it whatever you want, Sage Wrecked. Uh, change our size to 128. Um, 128 by 128, we have it downloaded. We'll jump back over here and now we're gonna upload this one. Um, and just like that, you can see this one's a little bit harder to read. You would change it up to fit 
um, how you want it to fit, maybe even just a different character. So if I wanted to grab a character, uh, a character like Viper, let's just save an image as Viper real quick. And, and see how that would affect things if we change it. So let's drag Viper in here real quick. And you can see what I'm saying, Viper is very small already. And, and honestly, I mean, maybe doing something like that with the word behind her might be uh, do something interesting. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's just say you're going to do something like this and you're going to drag her below wrecked. And now, you know, you have wrecked right there on top or, or whatever you wanted to say. You guys you see how you can get started, how you can play around with this um, kind of the stuff you can make. Really, the the opportunity is endless. I mean, honestly, you can get in Pixlr. It is I, I think it is nearly as powerful as Photoshop and you can get it absolutely for free. Um, you don't even have to create an account to be able to use it and create stuff. So hopefully this just has just got your mind rolling, gave you some ideas, got you some stuff that you can do. If you don't want to use um, the, the free emotes that I showed in the last video, and if you haven't watched that one, I will go ahead and link it above. Uh, you can go and check that out. But if you don't want to do that and you want to do something completely custom, maybe something with your own face uh, or something like that, this is an easy way to do it. Um, it, it really takes very little effort. Um, I think these emotes that I had originally done, I had made in you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, so you see how you can jump in, you can play around. Guys, my goal with this channel, if you're just now joining us, uh, I, this is my second video, I guess, on this channel. My goal with this channel is to teach you guys how to stream for free. Now, as you can tell, uh, my stream is no longer free. Um, I, I have invested money into it as we've went, but I started off doing everything that I could for free. Um, and so I wanna show you guys as I learn, as I grow, how to grow your channel, how to grow your streams and do it completely for free. Um, but I do encourage as you grow to begin investing money back into the stream and it will get absolutely better from there. But what can we accomplish for free? That's the goal. Sub if you wanna see more stuff like that. Join me over on Twitch if you ever have any questions, you wanna know how to do something we just did here. I can explain it in more detail over on a live stream. Again, that's Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, usually after 11 o'clock Central Time. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you learned something. And if you did and you implement this, uh, post it on Twitter and tag me at Dr. Hills CTV on Twitter um, and let me know what you did. All right, guys, have a great day. Continue to grow that stream and do it on a ball and budget. I'll see you guys.